Welcome back to Window Shopping with Car and Driver. I think this is our 14th episode, and now that summer is upon us, we have started to think about convertibles. So we gave ourselves a $5,000 budget to find some interesting, fun, enthusiast convertibles, or even weird ones. And uh, we're going to take a look at what everybody found. Uh, we're joined this week by Brett Burke, who's a longtime contributor, and the rest of us are regular car and driver staffers. So we'll let uh, Joey Caparella take it away. Joey? Okay, so let me start off by saying that I don't really like convertibles. And I like to find convertibles that are based on cars that I think are cool to begin with. I think you're the but, only person who doesn't own a convertible out of all of us. And I never will. That's because you hate fun. <laughs> They're too fun. So the first one I found is this Saab 900. It's a turbo. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, it's in Arizona and it's a manual. So it kind of like meets all of my basic requirements. It's like a cool car to begin with. Seems like it'd be pretty fun to drive. Um, I just love these classic Saabs before GM kind of. Three spoke wheels. Yeah, yeah it's got the classic awesome. three spoke Anything wheels. Anything with tie spokes gets a thumbs up in my, in my book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and really it needs some, some sheepskin seat covers too. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. That was a, that was a popular Saab. All of my girlfriends in high school, all of my girlfriends in high school drove Saabs. Oh yeah, that I was a popular. That school. can't be true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it too, it was it's right. only, I only dated one girl, so. <laughs> it was a popular. All my girlfriend, all mother. my girlfriend in high school. <laughs> yeah, this is, but they stopped making this one in, I think in 93. Yeah, so it's on the later, the later end, this is a 92. It's got a lot of miles, but I feel like with Saabs, if you just find a good Saab mechanic, like, yeah, there's going to be maybe some expensive stuff, but if you find a good Saab mechanic. Is there an engine oh, shot? The reason you need a Saab mechanic is because the engine is in there backwards. All the belts are against the firewall. There's no engine shot in this uh, Yeah, all the belts are against the firewall, which makes it no fun to work on. Yeah. You can just call my uh, younger brother. He has like seven of these. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't you own a Sonnet? Uh, he owns a Sonnet, and uh, he and I together own a, um, a, a 95, 90, 72.95 wagon. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's cool. Which is, of course, currently not running. <laughs> what a surprise. But Saabs are, Saabs are a good value for, like, a budget vehicle, for whatever reason. Mostly yeah, like and it's just got vehicle. such a classic look. Like, I just, I would love to be seen in this. It's cool. They have no structural rigidity from what I can remember in riding yeah. in a 900S. We're, these, we're talking about convertibles no, that are $5,000. No I don't yeah, think we're going to, I don't think we're going to see a lot of, uh, somebody might have a Benz. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you could always get some, like, uh, some toe straps and try to give it a little more, a little more rigidity. Mm -hmm. I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah. You're not um, going to be going that fast, Joey. No. Well, it is a turbo, but okay. Um, so the oh, second car I found is a lot more rare and a lot weirder, and it is an Infiniti M30. Yes. Oh. So oh, when Infiniti first launched in the U.S., the car that kind of made headlines was the Q45, which was the flagship sedan. But actually, at the same time, they also had this M30, which was either a coupe and then later a convertible. Um, it's based on a Nissan Leopard, which is yep. a JDM car. It's JDM. Um, this one looks like it's in really good shape. It's also in Arizona. Um, I don't think I've ever seen an M30 that was in bad shape. I don't think I've I ever think seen an M30. These. They went directly from brand new to non-existent, I think. Wait, wait, <laughs> what are those go covers back to on there? Go back. Go back. Okay, so yeah, this is very uh, JDM to me, these like doily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Seat yep. covers. But yeah, what, usually when people put seat covers back. on, it's because the seats are in bad condition. But these look pretty good, actually. They're protecting them. Yeah. yeah. It's an anti-macasser. Anti so this is just such a, like, strange car that I think, like, there's a lot of Infinities that are forgettable. But I think this is one of the tr only true, like, forgotten Infinities. I've well, never seen just, one of these in person. They yeah, brought these the in. They brought these in in 90 or 91. Maybe the coupe was 90 and then 91 was the convertible. This one's 91. But the design yeah. goes back. That's a vanity well. plate. The yeah, rectilinear. The squared off stuff is all mid, very mid 80s Japanese yeah. stuff. Is, that, just, a, is that a Nissan uh, straight right? six? No, it's, a it's, it's like 160 horsepower. 
four speed automatic. Well, it's, I think the same engine that was like in the Maxima at the time. Exactly. They've yeah, got the, a lot of detailed picks. They've got a car cover. Like it's just pristine. The M30 Ooh. badge has some weird kerning, which makes me think it might have been hit in the rear. Oh, where's that? <laughs> See. Are you sure that's not the original space? Oh, I'm a hundred. I'm so sad. I know that that's not. <laughs> hey, I'll trust you on that. Yeah, it's not perfect. No, but it's, it's awesome. I love these. What I like that the ad, it's like acknowledging that nobody knows what this is because it doesn't even say the car name in the ad. It just says exceptionally clean, low mileage, dependable, rare, and fun <laughs> classic. You don't need to it, know also, a it also says only 6,300. We're sold in 91. <laughs> Joey, it's a lot more those, than I would have ever thought. Do they have all like the Google gaming stuff? Do they put like other cars at the bottom that they think are like this? It is a very long ad, but I don't see oh, that like right. long list. It looks like they actually spent a lot of effort on this ad. It's got continental. Higher oh, info. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the ad overall. I think you should absolutely buy this car, Joey. This is the <laughs> most new convertible I've ever seen. Weird yeah, this sort of meets the Venn diagram for Joey's interests and hatred of convertibles. Correct. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's not really, yeah, I mean, it looks terrible with the top up also, like a, a lot of convertibles do, but it has that, um, it has that pleated, uh, pleated leather on the door panels, which is oh, very yeah. elegant. You can see it in that shot. There. Yeah. Anyway, I'm really- Very into. nice. Yeah. It's a good pick. It'll probably be reliable too. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You're not going to lose your money on it. It's only 4,500 bucks. I would try to talk them down. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Joey, uh, thank, thank you very much. And Brett Burke is now up. I have a few more than, than most people because I'm the guest. Uh, uh, Tony always teases me when I come to LA that um, I only drive B12 vehicles. I, I focus mostly on high-end sport and luxury stuff um for for car driver and for other places so so i thought it seemed like a necessity to have at least one v12 in here and if you want to go v12 and you want to go cheap you have to get a jaguar xjs essentially um and this one just makes the price here at 49.99 it's um it looks pretty clean on the interior it doesn't say anything about whether the top goes up or down um it's up and, here huh is it stuck in the up position because then oh, it's right. yeah, it definitely goes up or i mean it is up uh, you well, at the very least, it's a coupe. Yeah, <laughs> there, these very interesting seat covers on here. Um, the trunk opens. It has a roof, um, and some sort of oh, is that the is that the tonneau cover in the? Yeah, in it's the like a boot. Yeah. yeah, not much room back there after you. Yeah, Brett, we drove in that one. I think by this time they had four-speed automatics with the twelve, so they're yeah. not. Yeah, so they're a little bit better than the three-speed that we drove like a couple of years ago That's together. Right. That's right. At the LA show, yeah, I had one that I'd borrowed from like DriveShare or something like that. I was tooling around and it was really nice. But that V12 is like, I mean, it's like an electric motor. You don't hear anything. And it just, yeah. you just, you just, you just, you just like waft along in that great British car with a lot of torque thing. Effortless thrust and, a, and an extremely long hood. Um, yeah, so it's got these strange seat covers. on a very nice uh, rip in the, um, in, the, in the cover of the center console here. There's no engine shot, but there is a shot of this guy uh, <laughs> wow. apparently shooting either either bug spray or a gun. Um, in I the think back. it's like Roundup. Yeah, they did take the time to block out the um, the license plate, which you know I think is nice. I'll never understand why people do that. I don't know. So like, drive know. around all day with your license plate exposed. Do you know that? <laughs> I like this color combo. <laughs> yeah, me too. Blue with whatever Pet Boy seat covers. <laughs> And this is second to last. No, th th I think they made these until '97. Yeah, I think this oh, was. I didn't realize it went that late. Actually, I didn't even check and see if this is a V12. Fraud! <laughs> <laughs> it could be the straight six, right? <laughs> Keep scrolling. Oh, look at that! That's a lot of legroom there. Yeah. Are there any engine shots we can tell you? It's going to be a small block swap. <laughs> no, there's no engine shots. <laughs> you've so, you've fraud at us all. What was there a rear shot that says like 4.0? Yeah, there'd be a V12 badge on the back, but you can't really see it. It's no, cleverly no. obscured, so you it's can't. Cleverly talk. obscured. All right, so they fooled me, um, but I thought that one was interesting. Uh, Joey, to counter your um, sob 
story. Uh, this is a package of five Saab 900s. Wow. Uh, and, and two of them are convertible. So I thought I, thought I got a credit for that one. Yeah. Um, Rich I feel like a failure. I found one and you found five for the same thing. Oh, I know, one. for the same price. This one's got tri-spokes, this coupe. Um, it doesn't even have pictures of all five of them, which I thought was also kind of an interesting merit. It's a there. grab bag. Yeah. So it seems like this is like one of those, you know, like you have two trips to take people across the pond. You can put three people in in one trip, or, two, or it's like when you go to when you go to the uh, to the to get your passport or something. You need two things from column A, three things from column B, and one thing from column C. So it's, it's like a riddle. Four of them have original paint. Two of them is a con are convertibles. One has wheels. This one has five speed. Blah blah blah. But I think you know. My brother is a Saab fanatic. My younger brother, he and I, as I said, you know, own that Saab together. And I feel like if I got all five of these, we could probably make 1.5 running cars out of them. It's um, cool. It's like yeah, a, one Arby's, really good yeah, one. Arby's five for five. I mean, look at the look at the paint. On Arby's it. five <laughs> for five. Does that yeah, still exist? Five. Does Arby's still exist? I don't think anything still exists anymore, Tony. Yeah. We're in a pandemic. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. Going back to toward the high end of things, I felt, felt like I, oh, cool. I needed to have one. You know, I looked at some 380 SLs and 450 SLs. You can't really get a 560, but you can get a real bargain basement R20, R129. This one is the six, the straight six. Uh, it's feel. in gold, and it, and it has chrome wheels, which are two pluses in my book. Very California. Of this vintage. Um, it looks pretty, it looks, it looks like. very clean relatively clean right the seats are a little deflated um and i, I don't think this is the yeah. proper position for the for the headlight washer yeah, I, <laughs> I could be wrong <laughs> i don't, I don't think really that's factory anything, i don't really know anything about how cars work uh <laughs> this the roll bar goes up or it's always up uh it's got a usb so there we go that's yeah that's this a, one's smoke silver which is not a color i particularly like no, but I mean, it's gold-ish. Yeah. Look it's at that. a very California co color combo, especially with the chrome wheels. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. And it's, it's in very like late California. 90s yeah. color combo. Yeah. yeah. All right. Very grandmother but, color combo. She reminds me of a Lexus ES. Casey, this car is rigid, unlike all the other cars we've seen. I, 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 yes, I, yeah, I agree like, with you. So I actually. Lexus should be a smooth driver, and it's right in the middle of the, you know, of the, of the, of the projected price point from. So TV. that automatic roll bar that pops up by itself when it senses, you know, a wheel leaving the ground or the car right. turning over. A friend of mine, the same one, Casey, the same friend of mine that crashed that MR2. He took his father's 500 SL out and drove it so aggressively that the roll bar popped up. Yeah. When the roll bar pops up, it stays up. And then yeah. the procedure to get it to unlock and go back down. And so he was freaking out that he couldn't get it back down. Yeah. He's to drive it backwards like Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, it's a read the manual thing, and then you just like hold down the button or do something, and then it kind of goes back down. So okay, well, either, either, either these guys haven't figured that out, or this is broken. But have you ever been in a car? Have you ever been in one of these when it does that, Tony? Yes. It's it's pretty alarming. It happens very quickly. Yeah. You can hang the wind the wind deflector hangs off of it, Brett. So maybe they had that up for the wind. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would never put up a wind deflector in a convertible, unlike Joey. <laughs> I have all the windows rolled up and the wind deflector. And the, and the pop up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a coupe. <laughs> Right, and it's a good, all right. Finally, just I had a few extra choices. I yes, I, I really thought we, that I I've always wanted a Suzuki Samurai, and they're like like an old Jeep. Like these things really hold their value. People love these. You cannot find one anywhere in the world that has not been manipulated by some Yahoo in some way. Um, in pictures. Yeah, this one. This one. I mean, you know. You were, were you searching for seat cover cars? Yes, I, I, <laughs> my main search term was seat covers uh, and convertible. I think it's I was hoping cover. someone would pick an SUV convertible. Thank you. I love it. Yeah, it's. I, four search, I searched for a while for a CJ for an old. Oh, yeah. I couldn't find one. It's a manual. It's. I like that it says driven seventy five hundred miles, which I'm not sure what that means. I don't believe um, that. Maybe it was dragged behind an RV for one hundred and eighty thousand. I was gonna say it's been flogged for for two hundred. 
but it's only nice. driven it's for 7,500. It's got a nice uh, bow to the front, to the front uh, bumper. The top, spring shackles are nice and exposed. It doesn't look rusty at all. No, it's in it's in California. Valley. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So there we go. That's my final choice. Love nice it. Variety. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. All right, you ready, guys? Yes. Spotlight. Brad, Brad, you have a convertible, right? right? What? What? Yes, Brad. I do. I've got I've got a 2005 Beetle. <laughs> New Beetle. <laughs> Really? Wait, there's Joey. Hi, Joey. <laughs> it's a mirror effect. Oh, wait, wow. Okay. I was, so, I was so confused on what was happening. Okay. All right. So um, I went cheap uh, on both of these. I went under budget. And uh, my rationale on this is that if you try and find an, uh, what used to be a nice car for $5,000, you're going to end up really disappointed. If you try and find what probably used to be not such a nice car back in the day, and spend more than you're probably on average comfortable spending on it, you'll probably end up with a good version of it. Um, I don't even know if that makes sense, but this is this wow. is a, a 1993 okay. Metro, and it's in pretty solid shape. Interior looks all right. Oh, 125,000. Look at that. Oh, look at that shifter. shifter. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make it bigger? Uh yeah oh yeah hang on yeah, let's get in <laughs> they this. already made it bigger it looks there's like there's nothing uh, big about this car look at the <laughs> airbag the airbag's like a quarter of the size of the entire of the entire instrument panel is that a is that like a like a deer antler what is that what is the shifter made out of <laughs> I believe it's human femur that, yeah. that's human yeah that's human bone for sure <laughs> all right well they, this this person is clearly taking good care of this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, are those I, are those aftermarket seat covers, or is that is that the lumpy material? I think that's the seat. Yeah, it's just loose. I think that's just bad foam. Yeah, yeah. So the the payload rating, you can only carry three hundred eighty eight pounds in this car. So if you have if you weigh two hundred pounds and you can't bring a friend of yours that's over two hundred pounds or over one hundred eighty eight pounds, technically. So good. I'm sure there's a. It's like a Lexus LFA in that regard. <laughs> really was its gvwr really close to the curb weight yeah yeah it was i mean it was just something ridiculous it was it was like 300 pounds difference oh, this one's got that I, nice luggage rack so you can put all your luggage on it i oh, think yeah. it's awesome not I'm more than it. i think it's very not cool. too heavy is there, <laughs> is, there a, is there a topless shot <laughs> all your no. carbon fiber why didn't they put the top down that's how that thing looks best yeah agreed best <laughs> <laughs> The, the, geo, the geo badge on the front looks like it's in the wrong place. It may have been hit. Uh, it's a little off center, it looks like. Yeah, it's it it badges hit. today. But maybe it's just the angle, Tony. No, I don't think so. The badge police, right. Tony, is coming for you. This, this, this does look better than most geos that I think you'll find in Michigan. And the fact that it's. You know. <laughs> That's like the lowest bar you could possibly. <laughs> Yeah. Where, where else geos in Michigan? Where where else are you gonna find the best convertible other than Metro Detroit? I feel like this is <laughs> this is the worst place to own it. I actually yeah, noticed that as I was searching in the Midwest, there's a lot of convertibles. I think it's like how in the UK they're obsessed with convertibles. It's like where the weather is worse. People it's called denial. It's yeah. like denial is what it is. Tony found a really nice convertible in Michigan. Thirteen two to sixty. Yikes. 55 horsepower. This is, uh, is the LSI, the, uh, the up-powered version? Yeah, that's the luxury one. <laughs> okay. There was also this, wasn't there a, like a, wasn't there a sportier one? Not the Metro. <laughs> Not the Metro. All right. Maybe the Suzuki Swift that it was. Yeah, you uh, can't really see it, but the badge, the badge is clearly in the wrong place on that one. <laughs> Tony's looking back. It's supposed point. to be like more, more on the, on the, on the, so where where the hood kind of rolls over? It's supposed to be between the headlights. Basically. Yeah, yeah, between the headlights. Yeah. Red flag. And centered, maybe. Of all the things that could be Make wrong, make sure you this check car, this uh, Carfax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. thing yeah. that yeah. we found like trying to hide something with this one. <laughs> Don't right. spend like ten percent so, of the purchase price on a Carfax. All right, Brad. What else you got? I I, so I, I like this. 
I do. So I love that one. Um, but I think this one, this next one actually speaks to me. It's something that I'm, I'm planning on going to look at least call at the very least call and see uh, if they still have this. This is in Dearborn. This is a uh, 1984. Wow. Oh, I saw this car. Oh, yep. that is car. I love it. It's a, a K car. And I love that grill. They tried to copy the Cord 810. I love this. The whole gauge. The, the gauges are really cool. Yes. Silver tone matte. Love it. How many miles are on it, Brad? It looks really good. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's pretty low. Hold on one second. I'll get I'll I'll, I'll get to That's that. That's a different. Is that a different interior? From what? From any other interior you've ever seen? No, no. From the other car. <laughs> Is that still red? I don't know. Never yeah, mind. I think okay. it's the same. The interior is white. <laughs> the first picture looked more. Got it. Got it. Got it. This is so, super classy, Brad. Seventy-seven thousand miles, supposedly. You're way I, under I actually, budget. Yeah, way under budget. Um, you know, you, you get, get two a grand. Continental package put on this for the extra money. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's it seems pretty solid. The um, it's been on on car gurus for two hundred twenty seven days. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh no! I mean, we've been in a pandemic, <laughs> not for that long. I know, but for so, a lot of it. But it's not going to last now, Joey. Now that the weather has turned, and now that we're promoting it on our show. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the, this is this is the thing. If I keep I keep thinking this, if you spend five grand on a convertible or or a lot of cars, and you're you have this vision in your mind of what you want. It's not gonna. It's probably not gonna work out for the best more often than not. But these cars, people obviously. I mean, I don't think anybody wants this car. It's been here for a long time, supposedly, and it's in better condition than any yeah, other Dodge Six Hundred you're gonna find. I think so. It's, Keep scrolling through the pictures. It's the non-turbo though, so this is gonna be dreadfully slow. Yeah, this is like, not something. Yeah, that's the I only mean, problem is, with it. <laughs> in my high school that had like the what was the what was the fast one called like the magnum or something dodge 600 magnum there was a 600 es which might have had the turbo oh yeah and it had like it had like alpha spider like wheels like with a big with the circles all the way around the phone dial wheels the, you could get the what was it the 146 horsepower turbo in these yeah it's got the cool cord uh the imitation oh. cord uh 810 grill yeah yeah, I, Brad, I what you're saying, Brad, what you're saying is you have to lower your standards. You absolutely have to drop your standards. What do you <laughs> think was on this page that they blacked out or um, pixelated yeah. out? You see that? I don't, that's, that's a good question. I think maybe hu human feces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, these places that they say, you know, you don't need a good credit score or whatever, they, they, they'll, they'll work it out for you. I don't know. Like Seven thousand yeah, dollars in payments on this car. <laughs> when I when I looked at this one, it said that your payments would be fifty three dollars a month. There you go. <laughs> if you don't have a okay. good credit score, this is the last car you should consider. Why? That's, oh, here, that's that's probably great. right. Brad, I will, I will, I will, sh I will split this car with you if you buy it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it on a road trip. Perfect. All right, Brad. You gotta wear your. You gotta wear Brad, a mask. Like, Brad's like. I'll spend fifteen hundred dollars to drive that once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your time is up. <laughs> All right, moving to Mr. Uh, Casey Colwell. Casey, you have a convertible, don't you? Yeah, I do. I do still have a convertible. I had a convertible in high school, and uh, uh, I, I I still have it, and I never drive it. And I think that uh, unless you live in Southern California, after owning a convertible, um, you kind of you're kind of over it. Uh, what is what did your wife nickname your convertible? <laughs> She, my wife my wife calls it glory days um, <laughs> which is which is pretty good i mean i'll, I'll give it to her that's a and it's, it's a good. it's a 4.6 liter mustang right yeah yeah it's it's a 96 mustang uh gt so um it is uh is it for sale for five thousand dollars or less yes 100 percent of it um, <laughs> maybe you could just swap it for whatever it is that you picked <laughs> uh, I mean, I think, unfortunately, in the condition it's in, I might be able to, I might be able to trade it straight up for that, uh, for that Dodge. Getting right into it. Um, Ooh. An 87 uh, Spider Veloce. Um, you know, if I'm, if I'm going to drive a convertible, I, I want it to have some passion. Um, I want to, you know, I want to be excited 
to drive it when I drive it. There are no photos of this interior. Um, that, one. That, that might be a that might be a red flag, but the exterior appears to be in in moderately decent condition. It's in Buffalo. Um, it probably wasn't driven in the winters. I can't imagine somebody driving this in the winter. Yeah, that's a lot of what no. happens to these in the Rust Belt, Upper Midwest. Uh, these these cars just get put away in the winter time. Yeah, you can yeah, ride good convertibles. I love that center exhaust. That's great. Yeah, these yeah these are. Um, I've always I've always liked them. This is a later one. I like the earlier ones better, but um, but it's uh it's a it's a cool cool car to me. I mean, I think this is, so. We tested one. I think in nineteen. This is an eighty seven, but it didn't change a whole lot. Um, mm -hmm. The two liter stayed the same forever. Yeah, I mean, but this this was in, in eighty one. This thing had um, variable valve timing. It had cam phaser in it, um, mm -hmm. and that was in nineteen eighty one. That was still only good, I think, for like hundred eleven horsepower. Um, <laughs> And uh, do you think but, it's still functional in this car? No, probably not. <laughs> um, You're over budget. Yeah, I would say uh, oh, way over this budget. Is, this is a private. This is a. I'm not way over budget. This is a private seller. <laughs> You're this twenty is, percent over budget. I am. I am. No, I am. I am well within bargaining the bargaining range of, oh, of budget. It's easier with a private seller. To get a sense of how small these are and how narrow they are, look at that plate. Look at how big a license plate yeah. is on this thing. <laughs> That's a good point. They're so mm -hmm. tiny. They're roomy on the inside. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This has no. This has no photo of. of it's a quadrifoglio. Inside. Yeah, and that's what. That's just what I think. That I think that was just what the veloce was in the U.S. Right. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's the uh, ducktail one. I like the one after it. Oh yeah, from the With very the, end. the modernized tail. But some mm -hmm. people like these. So, All right, what's your next car, Casey? Is it your uh, new thing? Is what's it that? Glory Days? No, no, it's not. It's not Glory Days. Uh, but it's uh, it's an MR2 convertible yeah. under budget. Nice choice. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, mid engine. Uh, it's got you know, it's over a hundred thousand miles, but it's it's a Toyota. Like you a know. Corolla engine, basically. Yeah. Well, this is. It's yeah, a one ZZ. It's a one yeah. ZZ. Okay. Isn't that the interference engines that? It's the one point eight liter, um, low output version of like what's in a Corolla XRS. What's Lotus in a, um, a Lotus Elise? So this is like one hundred thirty horsepower. Yeah. Um. But. Uh, these have absolutely these have absolutely nowhere to put anything. So if you and if you and a friend go and get a pizza, there's nowhere to put the pizza. <laughs> I'm surprised there isn't like a what was the sat Saturn um what was that thing called the Saturn Sky? Or yeah, the, the Sol 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 uh, I, I, I found a few of those, but they were all like crash damaged. Uh, my only yeah. concern is what's going on with this shifter. What's going on with it? it? Looks like they. Oh, the, what's going on with that glove box? There's an extra well, so glove box. There's an extra glove box. Yes, there's an extra glove box, and the shifter it like peeled away. I don't know. It looks what do you mean? Like it was bad. Go back to the rear end. It looked like there were no badges on it. Uh oh. Uh, Thank you, police. We're back I'm to the. Badges. Stop stealing Tony's um. The glove. badge police. <laughs> this is my area of expertise. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Uh, what do you say about the badgelessness? Do you think they got the badge delete? I don't know. It might have been a hit. Dealer? Might have been a hit. <laughs> what kind of tires are those? I, I don't think there's anything to, to write home about. Iron. I was trying to find a, speaking of cheap mid-engine cars, I was trying to find a Fiat X19 for this, but I couldn't find it. Couldn't find a decent one for five grand. These are pretty fun. These are pretty fun to drive. Yeah, no, they are. Um, and uh, What's going on with that clutch pedal being all up in there? Are you frozen? Or I guess you... maybe Atlantic Auto Sales needs a needs a needs a needs a <laughs> photography manager. Um, uh, but the pedal spacing is nice for heel and towing. That's true. Me. It's just the clutch pedals on a whole other different plane over there. It might just be the angle. No, these are really fun. How much is it? You're in budget. It's, yeah, I'm in budget. I like you the know. color. I Where found one in Florida that was like the great like dark green over the brown interior. It was really nice. Why didn't you oh, those it? are cool. It that was like the Hakone edition before the Hakone. Yeah, exactly. This seems like way too much fun. 
<laughs> it's way too practical. <laughs> so those are my two. I love it. Yeah, I like that one. That one's strong. All right, let's see what I've got. I've got a few, but I'm going to rush through them so we don't eat up too much time. Wait, wait, wait. You told me, you were like, it has to just be two, and now you're <laughs> oh, throwing yeah. in three. That's because I'm not nice. <laughs> well, this I know. All right. Um, Audi TT Roadster. This one doesn't have the baseball glove interior before oh, you asked. I was just going to ask that. I did look, but there was nothing under budget that had the ball that had the really cool it stitching. It's kind of rare because I couldn't. I saw a lot of TTs that didn't have them. Yeah, I think it was pretty rare, Joey. I think well, it was, was it expensive? Rare. It was expensive too. Was it? I, mean, I, I think it was. Rare. I think it was an expensive option. It's a really nice interior. I mean, even the regular car has a pretty cool interior. And what I realized was I, these gauges, which look like retro gauges, I don't know why they're taking pictures like this. I guess there's no real wear to it. Where are the gauges? Here are the gauges. These gauges I discovered recently are out of the very similar, inspired by the NSU RO80. Yes, you guys oh, see in cool. it? NSU was like Audi before. Right. Uh, so I always Audi. thought these were just like a, a retro thing, but they're actually, they appear to be an homage to the, do you guys see it or do you not think that? I mean, I, uh, no, okay. You know, I mean, it's, it's round, it's round and, and there's numbers on it. Response, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they, if they both started at like the right, nine o'clock right. position, okay, like it's, the NSU, right. I might've been sorry like, sorry I brought okay. it up. Moving right along. <laughs> Chrysler's TC by oh, Mazda. Yes. Yeah. And We're it's not a Chrysler TC by Maserati. It's Chrysler's TC by Maserati. <laughs> nice. That's what was important. Essentially a shortened LeBaron. Right. This one has the, th this one has Michelins. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there. Uh, yeah. Keep going. Scroll through. So this one has the three liter um, V6, but you could uh -huh. also get the 2.2 liter Chrysler turbo engine and a few of them even had a uh, four valve per cylinder 16 valve head from maserati this okay. one has i don't want to i don't want to step on your toes but i'm pretty sure that maserati badge on the back of that is not stock <laughs> <laughs> I, again i just want to point out good eye Brad. Wait, 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 let me see it let me see it there you go my dad owned one of these I, yeah there's this one too the one the front front badge are you talking about yeah. yeah. I like the way it's put on, though. Those aren't, no, it's not even Maserati lettering. No, it's, no, it's, <laughs> it's clearly from Pep Boys. Letters. Brad, did you say your dad owned one of these? He did, yeah, yeah. From New? Well, was your dad's his, name Lou Bluestone? It was, uh, <laughs> his was red with the, uh, the brown interior, the classic. Look at this. Oh, Lou where, Bluestone, wow. where are you now? Everyone, we everyone got Lou it, their nameplate, right? Do people I, get yeah. Yeah. Look, Look at that name. leather. Look at all that stitching. Maserati. The, the, the interior of this, uh, the interior of these cars looks like uh, seeing your grandmother naked. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks comfortable. That, that looks awesome. Look at all yeah, those little... Right over here and sit up on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I made some nice cookies for you. I'm sorry I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> Next picture. <laughs> uh, Amazing. Oh, beautiful. There's this Lou Bluestone. The Lou, I, we can't escape Lou. It's got the great, oh my God, there's a VW thing in the background. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw, I was wondering what, I was going to look up this Delray Beach Motors when this I This is a driveway out. of oddities. Yeah, so that when opera, that opera window is, is a positively Wagnerian. Is it only on one side? No, oh, yeah. no, no, no. It's on the top. It's no, on the hard top, Joe. It's the hard top. Oh, got it. Got it. So when Is that they, when they built better or worse for you? I can't decide. They're both bad. When they made that in the only US, for blind spot. All right, and the they, last they, car I have, I only had three KC, and I, there are barely any pictures of this one, so it won't take long. Is the Dodge Dakota Sport? Nice. I tried so hard to find that. Same. I tried so hard. Look at that. Thirty nine ninety five. Amazing. Wow. Um, Call John. There's his number right there. I hope we help him sell it. Yeah, factory convertible pickup truck. Is that that lawnmower is actually in the back, isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> comes with the sale. You, you, can't put the, you can't put the top down with it in there. None of this your is, convertibles, nobody else's convertibles can carry a lawnmower like that. No, this is the winner, I think, for me. This is this is so cool. I'm not yeah, gonna put it up for judging just to disappoint you. Okay, come those on. Are great. Those are great. You are mean. Get ready for disappointment. <laughs>
Joey, which of your convertibles that you would never buy are you putting? I up? am definitely going to put up that Infinity just for its rarity and JDM. Thumbs up, 100%. Yeah, 100%. I'm, I'm down with that. I wish it was a different color. I wish it was gold. Not, Not uh, really, that would really the, complete the package. The pearl white metallic. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, who went second? Brett, you went second, right? Which of your beauties yeah. are you picking? The five for five? No, I'm t I'm t I'm torn, but I really think I'm gonna put the um, the samurai up. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. That thing looks fun. I would buy a samurai, and it was a manual samurai too. Yeah, it was a manual. It had a great graphics package on the side. <laughs> a little expensive, but amongst graphics, other graphics package, packages, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the badges were all in the right place. <laughs> yeah, or not, or not there at all. Okay, Mister uh, Mister Brad, what you got? For I'm. I'm going with the Dodge. The Dodge is, it speaks to me. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't, man. I'm, doing that. I'm drawn to it, and mainly because of the white, the white, um, Brad already offered to split it, and he's like, nope. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say you offered, you offered me half. I went in the sideways. I can be convinced. Brad, he saved you from another unanimous thumbs downing. I appreciate that. Welcome. All right, Mr. Uh, Colwell, what you got? Uh, I guess I got I gotta go with the with the MR2 because I feel like it's it's one I actually I would buy. The buy so yeah, but. it's like that seems like it would be a lot of fun. It's a little unfair because it's like most like a real car out of uh, out of all of them. Well, also we have to point out that none of us picked a Miata. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah, yeah. obvious. Yeah, I own a Miata. You ruined it. We were gonna do this whole thing and not say Miata once. <laughs> <laughs> I went there. <laughs> it's understandable. Uh, what should I pick? I'm gonna go with the um, Chrysler's TC by Master. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm not kidding. even. I, I changed. <laughs> oh, are you going I'll to go with the TT. I'll go with the TT. The TT? No, the TT. It's, I'm, 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 cool. it's going down just because down. you started. I, mean, with I never liked those cars. I didn't really like any no, of them. No, TT's all right. I would, I would, I would, I would have gotten a unanimous that. thumbs up for the Dakota, Tony. I know. Yeah, that's same. Easy. All same. right, fine. Dakota. Yeah, the Dakotas. How about just that lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> the convertible. It doesn't have a top. All right. Well, that's another episode of Winter Top. It top that goes up, doesn't it? What? Doesn't a convertible, when you say convertible, that means it has to convert from top up to top <laughs> that's down. That's true. So the yeah. lawnmower doesn't have top. Otherwise, unless it's just topless. Unless we're talking about couches. Uh, otherwise, it's just a roadster. <laughs> all right well that brings us to the end thank you brett for joining us this week oh my god thank uh, you guys so much for inviting me and allowing yeah. me to talk all the time all right uh so we'll see you all next week see you guys Bye. adios <laughs>